Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Up until this afternoon, I really wasn't all that interested in the iPad camera connection kit. However, I received word that you could use one of those attachments, specifically the one that uh, can take USB input, to attach external USB microphones, like the Yeti or the AT2020, two of my favorite USB mics. Uh, currently, I have the Yeti plugged into a powered hub, and uh, then that powered hub is connected directly into the camera kit attachment. Now, if I wanted to use another microphone, I could, something that didn't need as much power, I could connect it directly to uh, the camera connection kit attachment and be just fine. However, if I'm gonna record audio externally, I might as well use a pretty decent mic, and I believe the Yeti is a pretty decent mic. Uh, so here we go. I'm gonna go ahead and do my best uh, to uh, give you a test. And the reason why I have uh, the iPad situated uh, kind of far away, if I can slide that correctly, I'm looking through the uh, uh, camera or the 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 preview on the uh, the iPhone, which is what I'm recording this on. Um, the reason why I happen to have uh, this far away is because I'm going to uh, try to get as close to the mic on the iPad 3G as I can uh, when I'm doing a test, and as close to uh, the Yeti as as close as I can. Uh, then we'll be able to hopefully hear the differences between the two as I play it back on um, the iPad speaker. So uh, let's go ahead and, and give this a, a run. Here we go. First, we'll start with the iPad. This is the iPad 3G. I'm talking directly into the mic. This is the Yeti. I'm talking directly into the mic. Now, visually, that's not going to you know, be all that outstanding, but let's go ahead and disconnect the uh, mic for the moment. And the reason why I'm doing that is because this particular mic has output as well, and I didn't want to attach an external speaker to the microphone in order to play it back. It's just easier to use the uh, iPad speaker to play things back. And hopefully we'll hear the difference. It should have only recorded uh, on the Yeti. So if anything, uh, the beginning of this particular recording will be softer. So here we go. Let's turn it all the way up. This is the iPad 3G. I'm talking directly into the mic. Pretty soft. This is the Yeti. I'm talking directly into the mic. And pretty distinct right there. So uh, there you go. It worked, and it worked quite well. If you were on the fence on whether or not you should get uh, the uh, iPad camera connection kit, uh, this may be worth it for you. Um, that's one of the uh, attachments that comes with it. Unfortunately, uh, you can't plug every USB device in there. It won't always work. But every single webcam uh, that I plugged in worked well. The microphone, of course, not uh, the image, and believe me, I tried at least the, uh, the camera part of a webcam. The microphone will work just fine. Uh, the camera at this point won't, uh, but this is the attachment that you need. It's sad that I need another one of these things to carry around. I wish Apple would just create <laughs> maybe just a, a, a monster connection kit, like with USB and SD and memory stick and HDMI and all those connections I need. I just want one. I just want to carry around one attachment. That's all I'm asking for. Maybe uh, one of you uh, creators could uh, uh, drum up something that uh, would make it easier to travel with all this stuff. Uh, there you go. Um, just uh, happy to share this bit of news with you. Uh, hopefully I didn't leave anything out. My email address is chris at perillo.com if you do have any questions. And uh, I guess this would make the, uh, the last product that I needed to buy to have a complete collection from Apple, at least the current line. <laughs> Uh, my uh, Twitter handle is at Chris Perillo. Uh, as I have mentioned before, I've blogged about uh, a lot of uh, my favorite gadgets and gizmos, including the Yeti and uh, the microphone I use for the live video feed, the AT2020 currently, because of its low profile and clean audio sound. Clean audio sound as opposed to what other kind of sound? <clears throat> Facebook.com slash Chris Perillo. Uh, then, of course, we have LockerGnome.com, LockerGnome.net. And uh, I did make mention of a live video feed that's uh, being streamed out over the web 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And, by the way, if you reached the end of this video, um, if it seemed smooth, hopefully it, it, uh, it is uh, the new YouTube feature that allows for automatic stabilization for videos. I'm uh, going to go ahead and process that since I'm holding this uh, iPhone with uh, one or two hands. Uh, hopefully uh, the shake will be diminished by that particular YouTube feature. Oh, anyway, uh, uh, back to the chat room. We are geeking out 24 hours a day, seven days a week at live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.